Can you guess which is this musical instrument? This is the sound of tanpura. It is used as an accompanying instrument and is not used for solo performance. In the Natya Shastra of Bharat Muni, the musical instruments are classified into four groups. String instruments, Tattavadya, Blowing instruments, Sushirvadya, Percussion instruments, Avandhavadya, Solid instruments, Ghanavadya. Let's understand each type of instrument and listen to the sound produced. String instruments like Veena have frets and strings are plucked with the help of fingernails. Sitar is another such instrument. Sarod does not have frets and is also played with the help of fingernails. Instruments like sarangi and violin are played with a bow. Santur is another string instrument in which strings are vibrated with the help of sticks. Shankha is the natural wind instrument and is blown by mouth. Another famous Sushirvadya is the flute or basuri. It is the changing air column length which produces different notes. In case of Shehnai, air is blown between two reeds and as a result of their vibration, sound is produced. Harmonium is bellow blown instrument which also has reeds. Percussion instruments are played with palms and fingers like Mridangam and Khanjira, Pakhwaj and Tabla. Some instruments in this category are struck with hammers like Tsaugada and Dhol. Ghanavadya are made up of metal, clay or wood and need no tuning and used as side rhythm instrument. Instruments like Ghatam, Kartal, Janjira. Modern instruments like synthesizer, electronic tanpura can be classified as electronic instruments. Speakers. You must have seen this in public places, processions and large cultural gatherings. Loudspeakers are everywhere. These amplify the sound of the speaker or music played in the microphone. How does this device work? We know that the current carrying conductor generates magnetic field. We also know that similar poles repel and opposite poles attract. Speakers internally have coil attached to a paper. There is a strong magnet next to it. Current is passed in the coil as per the signals received. This sets the paper attached to coil in vibrations. These vibrations produce sound. Let us build a similar speaker with everyday things. We will use a balloon as our vibrating medium. Balloon is cut and attached to the opening of the plastic bottle. Small ring magnet is attached to the balloon. Coated copper wire is used to form this loop with 100 turns. This loop is placed near the ring magnet. When input from the radio is given to coil, it gets magnetized as per the current provided. This results in attraction or repulsion of the magnet. We can hear the sound as played on the radio station or music player. Try building this yourself. Activity With the help of water and containers of different types like metal, glass, porcelain and earthen pots, construct Jalataranga. Bell comes in a range or shapes and sizes, from a small hand bell to a large church bell or temple bell. So, visit places around you and explore different types of bells. Summary We discussed various types of instruments used in Indian classical music. We also understood how speakers work and built a simple speaker with everyday things. So, try building one simple musical instrument which fits into one of the four categories that we discussed.
Thank you.